never a dull day at the Hive. What do you think of that performance? I thought we were sensational. I've got to be honest, I think they've had two shots. We created, we've had enough to win every game we played in this season today. We played some brilliant football, pressed the ball really well. We made a team that pass out from the back play long nearly every time. And I thought we, uh, we were sensational. We showed different character at times. 1-0 down against the run of play. Obviously, we kept going, uh, scored just on half time. Um, great goal as well, great team goal. All the phases we were looking for. And second half, we managed to get the lead, make it 2-1. But we, I thought we were totally dominant. We played the game in their half. Um, realistically, a goal he's had two saves to make, and he hasn't made them. And I, I can say that about all the games this season. You know, the expectations higher at our football club now. It's on me to, you know, everyone can see, you know, we're trying to do something special here. Some of the players have to come with us. We can't have what we just had today. We should realistically win that game easily. We could have scored double figures. We had some sensational opportunities, some great phases of play. But little things again, the lads are free header right at the end when it's when we're winning 3 2. So I'm frustrated at them things because we've got to get the detail right. And I think as a coaching team, we've been outstanding in the four six games. Got 14 points from six games. It's unbelievable stat. But our goal's against. We should be enjoying the game. We come on, Courtney Seniors come on, he misses a one on one. We have a ball flashed across the goal. Nicky should be on the end of it from um, Rhys Hall Johnson. Um, and we want to be relentless in our play. And if we're going to do something special, we have to be relentless. In that game today, you know, we've got to just slightly raise the bar on what we're doing within the whole uh, team ethic and the team uh, ethos. But I thought all in all, it was a sensational performance. Our different, like I say, different character at different times. But um, I am slightly frustrated. Does some of that sloppiness, I suppose, is it impacted by that loss against Dagenham two days no, it's ago? It's just individual players, sloppy away, getting away easily. They had four shots on a goal easily, and they scored three goals. Today they've had two shots on our goal. They're the free header that you sort of like, we did well enough in the end to sort of not let them have. So realistically, they've had two and a half shots on a goal. Um, the main man scored two goals on them. We spoke about him all day. So both goals have gone down. The, both goals have gone in the middle of the goal. Yeah. Got to do better. Simple as that. A goal he's got to do better. That's as simple as that. I'm not looking to call him out. He's a good goalkeeper, Lorry. Senior goalie. He's he's got big enough shoulders to handle it. And I've no doubt he'll come through this period he's gone through. And then with two games in such, such a short period of time, what's the preparation like last week? Was the focus geared towards Dagenham or is it split? Nah, 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 Dagenham. Dagenham forced. As a coaching staff, we've done our walk. We did our walk on on Ebsleet. We did that sort of Tuesday, Friday. And then we watched the game back last Saturday night, where are we now? Monday, watched their game back Sunday morning, actually, because it wasn't uploaded. So the focus is always just on the next game. So look, all in all, I think for our efforts, we, we believe that at Dagenham we shouldn't have lost. We should have another point and we should have definitely be easily so we should have another three points but we don't um, so we've got to make sure we learn from that we've got to learn quick because this division's relentless and we go into a derby next week against Ball and Wood where we've got to be at it again and there's no doubt they'll be looking for a response after their result today but listen there's another I think there's 22 teams below us so at this moment in time we're in a good place and we've just got to we're demanding off the players a little bit more but much more and they've got to come with us and then it would be hard not to speak about Nicky Kabamba. What do you think of his performance? I think he can do better. I've got to be honest with you. I think he should have had six goals, not three. And if we're going to do something special, he needs to get six goals. Um, we created some sensational opportunities for him. We looked at their goalie so many times. And look, it's always good to get a hat-trick and good for his confidence. But, you know, if we're going to do the things that Paul Mullen and people like that, Langstaff, did last year, Nicky's got to look to them. That's the standard we're looking for now when we're in our football club. And what's the biggest thing you say he could improve? Is it just that finishing? His all-round game, his hold of play needs to be better. Um, getting in the right positions, which is good. He got in the right positions today. It's something we walk on with him. Um, and to be fair, he's come up with the goods today, but he's got to consistently do it. Like, he's got to do it week in, week out, game in, game out, for the full 95. Well, what was it today? We played 15 minutes added on in total, wasn't it? Only 16 minutes added on. So he's got to do it for all that period. So we believe in him. We don't not believe in him. He's just got to make sure, well, as we're raising the bar, he comes with that bar. And then finally, just on Idris Khanu, did he pick up an injury in the last game? Yeah, or? he's injured. It was, yeah, so oh, he'll be back this week. Give him a couple of days rest, little knee injury for him, little twinge in there. So he'll be OK, he'll be back for this weekend. He's a massive player for us. I think he would have had a huge impact in today's game, especially the way it panned out. So all in all, um, he'll be back and I'll hopefully we'll have a, a healthy squad. The lads are get a couple of days off now, I promise them. I said to them, if you get 14 points in the four six games, I promise them they can have a couple of days off. So they get some downtime with their family, they get time to reflect on the four six games of the season. 
and we've got to move into September now and get in the front foot again. So I think we've got seven games in September, it might even be more actually. Um, but we're looking forward to the challenge and uh, we're looking forward to next week. Perfect. Congratulations. Cheers, thanks.